Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint, guys. Today, we're at the TCT Show 2021. So we're gonna be splitting this video into a few separate parts for you guys. So first of all, we're gonna do some sort of 15 to 20 second shorts. Stall will go over sort of the, 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 the broad range of what they do and we'll condense that down into one video. And then we're gonna do a set of separate videos that are gonna go through some stuff in a little bit more detail for you. Go through some of the exciting things those companies have got coming got some things that they're showcasing at the show. There's lots and lots of different stuff here. So um, for anyone who hasn't been before, this is a real mixture, the TCT show. So you've got a lot of industrial application, you've got a lot of SLS, you've got new technology, you've got new suppliers, new types of filament, new material types and all sorts of things. So before we get started, roll those credits. So, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint, guys. Today, we're taking a look at 3D systems. So first of all, 20 second overview of what you guys do. Yeah, so I work for 3D Systems, and 3D Systems is a company that invented three-dimensional printing back in the 1980s. So we're the founding company that started this entire industry uh, with the invention of stereolithography. And uh, we design, develop, and sell, and manufacture uh, a broad range of uh, technologies in the 3D printing industry including the hardware, software, materials, and process. Nice, under 20 seconds. Okay, guys, here we are at CDG. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> quick 20 second overview of what you guys do. All right, so we're CDG. We offer 3D printing, 3D scanning, and 3D software products and services. And we offer about over 30 different 3D printers across seven different technologies now. Right. So we've got a really interesting portfolio of kit and technology that kind of helps a lot of different industries and a lot of different customers kind of various requirements. So that's are you, are you consumer ourselves. grade? Are you industrial focus? Are you education? All of the above? We're kind of professional to industrial, so right. kind of the middle ground to the upper ground. Gleaming. All right, brilliant. Hello guys, welcome back to 3D Print and Paint. Today we're taking a look at TriTech 3D. So first of all, let's start with a quick 20 seconds of what it is you guys do as a company. Um, so we are platinum partners for Stratasys. Um, we sell one-click metal systems as well, um, but we're also here with our partners, Casbeck, who sell all of their software. Amazing, brilliant. Nice and quick, good. Okay guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're taking a look at Additive X. Quick 30 seconds of what you guys do for us. So we're an additive manufacturing consultancy and supply company. So we are not a box shifter, but what we do is engage with our customers and we like to understand applications. We like to understand why they're looking at 3D printing, what materials they're looking at using, what's their trigger point in terms of the, the activation to look at the technology. And then we start investigating the solutions and the ROI. So we supply a range of 3D printers covering plastic extrusion, powder, metals, um, and also large format printing. Yeah. And then continuous fiber as well, which is standing in front of. So uh, we do a lot of different technologies in order to be able to guide the customer through that. Let's call it the additive journey. Fantastic. Okay guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're with E3D Systems, so go for it. Quick 30 seconds of what you're doing. Um, yeah, so here at E3D we make extrusion systems for 3D printers, so hot ends, nozzles, um, extruders, that's, that's kind of us. Um, yeah. Everything that goes with that. So you've also got the tool changer here as well. Yep. And you're in partnership with Duet today, or is that just um, Duet is around the other side? Duet is, is around <laughs> the other side, um, yeah, obviously. Uh, 3D printing company based in the UK as well. Pretty close to us, so we work with them quite a bit as well. Right. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're talking to Creality. So quick 30 second overview right. of some of the products you guys have got. So let's go. So Creality made their start in small FDM printers like the original Ender, but have very quickly branched out into being the largest consumer based 3D printer manufacturer in the world. They've just started on these pallet lines. This is their latest line of resin printers. Yeah. So you've got a 4K and a 2K, uh, 8.9 inch mono screen, 6 inch mono screen, nice and big. You do lots of little goblins, bits and bobs, and all sorts of things you'd like to paint with, really. Uh, so, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Okay, guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. We're here with Ultimaker. So, Tell us about the shiny machines. So, 
here you've got the uh, top of the line Ultimaker S5 Pro bundle, yeah. which is the latest iteration in our development, which has uh, now been going for 10 years. It's actually our 10 year anniversary this year. Yeah. So this is the latest and greatest model. If you can see, you've got multi-material, automatic loading and changing in between your prints. So if your print runs out in the middle of the night, you take the next material, slides it in, you come back in, your print's finished in the morning. It's also humidity controlled as well to allow for your uh, PVAs and your other materials to, to stay in the nice uh, conditions that you need them to be. Fantastic. We've got like a giant HEPA filter up the top as well. Exactly that, a giant HEPA filter as part of the air manager to make sure that yeah. all the uh, nasty toxins are being taken out. However, if you need it, if you need it to keep heat in for some of your more industrial grade materials, like your nylons and stuff, you can also turn the fan off and it will also keep it, regulate the temperature a little bit more as well. Amen. Thanks. Okay guys, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. We're with Photocentric. They've got the Opus. Tell us about it. What are you bringing today? Yeah, well, as you know, Photocentric manufacture printers and resins. Yep. Um, so this is our latest uh, printer. It uses a 14-inch uh, 4K monochrome screen. Um, and the great thing about screens is that, you know, you're making the whole layer at a time. So yep. if you're printing one part or multiple parts, it takes the same time. So it's uh, open source. So you can, we want you to use our materials, yep. obviously, but you can also use other materials. Yep. And we've tested uh, quite a few already for you, and they'll be on the on the profiles with the printer. Um, You're bringing your own slicer to this as well, so it's not like a T2 slicer yeah. or a lychee or anything no. like that. You're bringing the uh, you're bringing the software package as well. Yeah, the Photocentric Studio yep. works on two PCs. Um, yeah, so we think it's going to be a printer that will be uh, great for dental, uh, but also for industry. But, yeah. I mean, if you take a, a model like this, for example, you can get 22 on the platform and it will print those in about 45 minutes. Wow, so, that's yeah. insane. Yeah. Right, well, thanks very much. Hi guys, welcome back to Honey Pudger 3D Print and Paint. So we're here with Dice Design. Dice? Yeah, Dice, Dice Design, there we go. So um, let's have a quick look. Talk us through what you're doing today and what you've got. All right. So I like to start with the first one over there. That's the Filament Sentinel. It's been on the market for a while, but it's doing its job fine. Yeah. So it's a filament presence sensor. So basically, there's a light inside. And where, when there's a filament right. inside, it's going to detect the presence. So even if it's moving or not, it's not going to tell you anything different. Right. But it's still very affordable and easy uh, solution to implement for your end of filament. Yeah. And right there we have the uh, Pro series. So it's basically an extruder and a hot end. So it's all metal extruder, easy to swap hot end when you need to maintain it, when you need to clean, change a nozzle. Yeah. Very easy to use. You have a lever over there. So when you want to change your filament, you just need to hold them together and it's going to stay open. So very easy to change. And also we have our upcoming product. Yeah. So we have something called the Horizon. It's going to change the way you use your lab, your Z sensor. Right. So it's kind of a, a load cell inside where the nozzle is actually the touching point. So you don't need any more to put a, something a capacitive sensor or a right. BLT. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the nozzle is going to push on the sensor and it's going to act like a normal uh, end stop. Right. So you can do mesh leveling and if you change your nozzle and it's slightly off, it doesn't matter because the touching point is the always the nozzle. So right, very okay. simple but effective. So it's a little bit like the CR6, but it works. Oh, it doesn't work on the CR6? The CR6 is objectively terrible. <laughs> you heard it here first. Don't buy one, they catch fire. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And so, then we've got, what's this job? So this one is the father of the, uh, or the son of the Sentinel, right. maybe. So it's actually a motion sensor. So we have three levels of sensitivity so that you can match the best one for your firmware because they all behave differently. Yeah. So the finest one is four micron per pulse. So basically when the filament is moving, it's outputting a high low pulses and you have from fine to coarse uh, depending on your firmware. So if you're using Marlin Clipper or Duet, you can have the right, right tuning for it. Fantastic. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. 
Right, guys and dolls, so that was the, uh, that was the TCT show. So, um, what did we think? Was it worth the trip? I don't know. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest and say this was really heavy on the manufacturing side. So, this was a real industry focused, a lot of B2B companies selling to other companies, um, and a lot of service based pieces. Obviously, on the channel, we try to focus on consumer slash prosumer. So there's definitely some stuff in there that was really interesting. I really liked seeing the new Opus from uh, Photocentric. The new, uh, the new S5 Ultimaker was really interesting. The Dice Extruder. I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on one of those to be able to show you. But uh, the honest reality is it, is, is it didn't feel like it was for us, right? It didn't feel like it was for, for our community. Uh, when we came in 2019, there were a lot more of the Chinese manufacturers here. It's where we met Gufu, uh, it's where we met 3D Talk, we met GTEC, we met Creality. And, and at this show, really, it was only really Creality that we managed to meet that was, that was in that space. Now, we got to see E3D, right? And they're doing some really cool things with the new Hemera. We got to see DICE with their really cool extruder. Um, and we got to see a couple of other people as well. But was this really a was this really a show this year for for us as as a sort of hobbyist slash sort of semi-pro people i don't know that it was there was a lot of industrial sls there was a lot of you know industrial cad and things like that there were there were stalls that we didn't show you just because they were so non-applicable to the type of things that we do post-processing for metal sls printing and that kind of thing wasn't it wasn't targeted at us um, that being said, we've really enjoyed the show. We've met some really cool people. We met our first fan, who, if he's watching this, we met our first fan. Um, so that was really cool. We got to meet up with Sam Prentice. Go and check out his channel. I'll put his link in the video description as well. Um, and, you know, and there was a lot of stuff here to see, and it was interesting. But it could have been a little bit better. There could have been more people here. There could have been more, more, uh, more companies coming to see us. And, you know, I mean, it is what it is. We are where we are. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching what we put together. We'll see you all soon.